good morning students welcome back to online class this is science class students now we are going to play a game i will show some pictures to you you have to find out their names okay students what is this yes this is a lion okay look at this image what is this yes this is a vulture next what picture is this yes this is sugar cane next what is this yes this is a neem tree students do you know how many years these plants and animals can live yes that's what now i am going to explain to you okay let's get into the lesson students in this class we are going to learn about the life span of plants and animals students you all know that living things do not live forever right they live for a certain time after that they die so all living things live for a certain period of time called their life span some living things have a life span only a few hours or a few days while some living things can live for many years first in animals for example the average life span of a fruit fly is 30 days the average life span of bed bug is up to 6 month The average life span of honey bee is five years. The average life span of a cow is twenty years, and the average life span of human being is seventy years. In plants, let the life span differs from each plants. On the basis of the life span, we can divide the plants into three different groups. They are annual plants. biennial plants and perennial plants first annual plants an annual plant complete its entire life cycle sprouting flowering and producing seeds within one growing season students we all know we get rice from rice plant farmer grows rice plant every year so the plants which live only for one year are called annual plants for example rice wheat corn etc next biennial plants bi means two the entire life cycle of a biennial plant occurs within two years In the first year these plants grow roots below the ground and small leaves near the surface at the end of the first season the parts of the plant above the ground may die but the roots remain we all eat a carrot we get a carrot from the carrot plant a carrot plant can live for 2 years so its life span is 2 years and cabbage plant are also live for 2 years so the plants which live for 2 years are called biennial plants for example cabbage carrot radish etc next perennial plants a perennial is a plant lives for more than 2 years students we are allowed to eat the mango fruit we get mangoes from the mango tree a mango tree lives for many years there are many perennial plants that continue to grow and flower for decades decade means a period of 10 years decade means a period of 10 years the plants which live for many years are called perennial plants for example mango tree pine tree lemon tree neem tree etc okay students next topic is excretion excretion is the removal of waste products from the body of plants and animals 
some of the excretory organs in animals are skin, lungs, kidneys and so on. Unlike animals, plants do not have specific excretory organs. Resins, latex, rubber and gums are some of the excretory products of plants. They are also termed as secretions. Secretion means a liquid substance produced by parts of the body or plants. Ok students, what is excretion? Excretion is the removal of waste products from the body of plants and animals. Ok students, let us recall once again. All plants and animals live for a certain amount of time and then die. Based on their lifespan, plants are classified as annuals, biennials and perennials. Plants that complete their entire life cycle within one growing season are called annuals. For examples, wheat, rice, corn, etc. The plants which live for a two years are called biennial plants. For examples, cabbage, carrot, etc. The plants which live for many years are called perennial plants. For examples, neem tree, mango tree, etc. Next, excretion is the removal of waste products from the body of plants and animals. The excretory organs in animals are skin, lungs, kidneys and so on. Resins, latex, rubber and gums are some of the excretory products of plants. They are also termed as secretions. Ok students, hope you understood. Thank you.